Claudia is just on my wall. Um, and next to that was a poster of Mariah Carey and various other posters. And, you know, Claudia Schiffer was in our, our town ground video. We, we drew out of Mariah Carey. It's like the posters were starting to come to life. You know, my bedroom was covered in posters everywhere. There was no wallpaper left. And all of a sudden, it's like somehow, you know, I just wanted to be part of that world. The first time I ever seen her, I remember, was uh, at a wedding, my auntie's wedding, my dad was the band at the wedding. And I did the same thing, I sang a culture club song called it's Red, Gold and Green, whatever the song that is. But uh, yeah, I think the book started in and around then. I started being on stage very young, I was four, so, you know, I think as the years rolled on, it was a case of, okay, so I can say poems on stage, what else can I do on stage? And then I started doing, like, you know, singing, acting, dancing, learning piano, learning guitar, all at a very young age, so, you know, any opportunity I was given, I was like, right, what else can I do? You know, when I was 12 years old, it was Grease, the musical, and sing on stage. It's also where I kind of got to know Keen and Mark uh, very well, so that was the kind of early seeds of Westlife uh, being so. Thankfully, there's something I really enjoyed about you know, growing up and being in school and primary school in Ireland, there's, there's a lot of music, you know, all the time. Um, between sort of church and school, just always music. Well, I suppose music really was really for me because my dad was in a team in a, in a band as well, so I would have gone up around and been on stage, you know, while he was rehearsing and stuff. The, the most special thing during the, the seven years of break was having another baby. But also, I, I'd have to add into that, get, you know, being a husband and a dad, and the routine that that brings, and that might sound a bit crazy, because I never had routine, uh, but, but I loved it. You know, we had a lot of growing up to do. Uh, I think it was hugely important for us to live in the real world around us. I feel like I'm finally living the full dream. Because for me, the full dream is not just about being on stage or having a number one or selling out a tour. For me, the real dream is being happy. And I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. So to see it now, you know, come, I suppose, to a stage of beyond our wildest dreams, um, 10 times over, uh, all the success that Wesley had. And it is, it's, it's very tense, it's crazy.